How to edit YouTube videos like a pro. So you filmed your first YouTube video, congratulations. But now you're staring at the raw footage wondering, how do I turn this into something people will actually watch? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm going to walk you through seven essential editing techniques that will help you create a polished, professional looking video using DaVinci Resolve for free. If you're new here, I'm Philip. I'm currently on a challenge making 30 videos in 30 days and I am here to help you succeed on YouTube with practical advice and strategies. Editing is where your video truly comes to life so let's dive into the process and make your first YouTube video shine. Let's get started with DaVinci Resolve first. First you need editing software. I recommend DaVinci Resolve. This is the software we're going to use during this tutorial so I'm going to walk you step by step on how to download DaVinci Resolve for free. Search DaVinci Resolve and then click on the second link here DaVinci Resolve 19 black magic design then it has a trailer then you just gotta scroll down and see DaVinci Resolve 19 click on DaVinci Resolve download now hit Mac OS it'll pop up a registration form so you just fill out your first name last name company email phone number and so forth and then hit register and download so once you download it you double click here and then this will pop up and then you double click here install resolve 19 continue 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 agree install so you need your password hit install all right installation was successful hit continue start to move this to trash go in your files you connect the usb c cable to your laptop here once you have that connected you flip the screen and your awesome pocket 3 will turn on it'll say file transfer and now it's connected okay click finder and then you go look under location on title you click dcim and for you it might be in dji 001 but the files we're working on today is going to be in dji 02 that's because usually when you have a lot of videos on your camera it moves to dji 2 I hit command, hit each one individually, copy it, hit go on the top and go to desktop, hit run with fill up and I'm going to go to the file that I normally save everything under. So we let's create a new folder, okay, we're going to call this edit your first YouTube video and let's open that up and then we just command V, okay, and we'll paste that in. We've already downloaded DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and click DaVinci Resolve on this bottom right. First thing we need to do is open a new project. So click on Untitled Project. We will name this project first. How to edit first YouTube video. And then we want to go to Edits. This is on your bottom third tab. Oh, now it looks a lot better. So imagine your screen looks like this, right? All right, so in order to see your media pool, you have to click here on media pool. First thing you're going to do is import the files. So we have to click file, import, media, and then we'll go to where we have the files saved. For instance, this is in desktop, run with Philip, new clips, 30 day challenge. And then we're going to do edit your first YouTube video. You want to highlight all the clips click open and then they'll ask you change project frame yes okay and then we want to double check what settings you're in to so have it on 60 i don't know why it is with davinci resolve this goes to 59.94 but you want to change it to 60 to make sure that your lips and your audio is matching up and I do the recording resolution at 1920, 1080. So if you decide to do 4K, this one right here, 3840, 2160, H, Ultra HD, okay? You would click there and it will show like that, HD. Perfect, okay, so save, change. And then what I normally do first is I'll highlight all these clips. And the reason for this is because it put things in order. I will drag the audio one clip. Before you make any cuts, the first thing, this will save you a lot of headache. Hit Command A, highlights all the clips. Okay. And then hit Inspector, click Audio Next, and now you can adjust the volume all at the same time. You see that? You want the audio between minus six 
to minus 11 so let's let's bump this up a little bit my video is more on a low end so you don't want to get it too low so that would be perfect i have a shortcut set up i would just click one because you want to get rid of all the dead space okay. so you just click one and then four to get, remove it you want to take off the media pool so that way you can see more of your clip okay all right look for any dead space and just start clicking one click on the clip four i'll show you how to do the shortcut but this is a lot faster than clicking this is what you would normally do okay you click this blade go to where you want to cut and you see the highlighted red line going down you click and it cuts. That's how you do it. And then you want to delete it. You have to hit the arrow here, click back on the clip, and then hit the delete key. And then hit the dead space and hit the delete key again. You see how, how long that takes to do? In order to set up this customization, we're going to go click DaVinci Resolve, Keyboard Customization. You want to look for Split Clip. Click here, hit 1, Assign. We're gonna set up is ripple delete. You can just delete it, whatever it is, and bind it to four. Perfect. And now hit save, close, and then that's how you set up those two shortcuts and how you can edit your videos a lot faster. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Watch. Don't worry. Okay, you see the head movement? So when you add a smooth cut, watch. Don't worry. I've got it's lagging. I have to put it on playback and change the timeline to quarter. It's lagging, okay? Watch. Don't worry. I actually watch. Don't worry. Okay, so it's still some blurriness to it. So the key is, so I would click here, go to inspector, changes to 0.1, changes to 4 frames. And now let's watch it. Don't worry. I watch. Don't worry. I so it's a lot smoother. Watch. Don't worry. I the important thing is when you record, you don't want to do too many head movement. You make the shortcut, you click, so you see a black cross on top of the smooth cut transition. Right click it and then go to create transition preset. So we're creating a preset right now. So then you can add it to your favorite. So we'll call it DaVinci Smooth Cut and search for it. So this is the one we created. Click the star, it'll pop up here in your favorites. Let's just start making a bunch of cuts. Hit Command A and you'll highlight all the clips. Vinci smooth cut add to select the endpoints and there you have it so this is how you make a J cut in this scene my hands will show seven on the next scene but previously my hand is like this right so what you do is you do a J cut J cut it looks like this you go okay and then you want it to line up to where you see how when you drag in the clips to the right you want it to match up to where both of them is lined up. There you go. You see how the fingers are exactly the same? All right, so we're going to play it. Seven, essential. Okay, there's a little head movement. So all you have to do is add the your favorite DaVinci Smooth Cut that we created earlier. And let's play it again. Seven, essential. That's a J cut. It's perfect for smoothing out to the next scene. And then an L cut is pretty much opposite. So you would put this and drag it to the left, right? So originally it was here. You want to drag the next clip over the previous clip. People will actually watch. Don't worry. I okay, so that is a perfect example of, of an L cut. You have different tools in your tool bags. You have to know which one to use on certain video transition. You want to go to your mixer, go to scroll down to effects here on the left, click on this arrow button, scroll down to restoration, go to AU, and then go to AU sound isolation. Okay. So we're going to listen to it again. Again, first YouTube video, Shine, okay? So before there was a motorcycle noise, right? So let's go back and then let's just turn it off. Turn it off, you just hit the red button, okay? Go back to your edit page and then let's go back to where it was. Your first YouTube video, you hear the difference? It's a lot louder, right? Your first YouTube video shot and make your first YouTube big difference. So that's a quick tip on reducing the audio 
noise, and this is on the free version. If you do the paid version, the isolation is a lot better than this. We're gonna have motion to still shots and keyframes. Um, the easiest way I, we can do that is go to your effects, click effects, click effects again. You wanna add like an adjustment clip, and then once you add the adjustment clips, let's look for effects. We're gonna look for the camera shake. Effects, open effects, and then we go to scroll down all the way to resolve FX transform. All right, it's all the way at the bottom, so you can just scroll all the way to the bottom like this. Click camera shake, drag it. Yeah. Now, if you want to add it to favor, you see this star here, man? Just click it and boom, it's add to favorites. And it'll show right here on the bottom left of the camera shape right here. And this is how it looks. Editing techniques. That I would make this shorter. You want your audience to really hear like an important word, you can add it then. Using DaVinci Resolve for free. This is how it looks before. For free. Right, so I would add it to there. To really stand out that this software being used is free so, and then let's watch it again using davinci resolve for free how to edit that's how you get you know your audience to get more attention and focus on this software is for free that you can use to edit your videos editing is a powerful tool that transforms your raw footage into a compelling video by applying these seven techniques you will not only improve the quality of your content but also keep your viewers coming back for more Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep experimenting and refining your skills. Now that you got the basics of editing down, it's time to focus on your channel's branding. Click here to watch my next video, how to design a YouTube banner that reflects your brand and make your channel look as professional as your videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you found these tips and strategies helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content for how to create your own YouTube channel. Here we provided the strategies and tips on how to do that.